Hello students, in this video we will discuss about DNA replication. What is DNA replication? DNA replication is, can be defined as DNA replicates means it makes copy of its own. It uh, making DNA copy of DNA is known as DNA replication. Okay. As we know that DNA packed itself into, into the form of chromosome before replication or before the cell division. So, okay. And uh, as you know, the uh, if cell is divided, then it must contain equal set of chromosome or DNA. So in order to make equal amount of DNA so that it can be equally divided into two cells, DNA replicates and make its copy and the DNA contained will be doubled. So, but how this DNA becomes doubled, how it replicates, that process we will discuss in this video. And for the maintenance of correct genetic information, DNA replication is important. Okay, so as you know that DNA contains two strands that are complementary to each other. They, uh, they, it is in form of helical structure and that helical structure, that DNA double helical structure was coined by Watson and Crick. Don't forget their name, it's very important. It also comes in examination that who discovered uh, the double standard DNA, double helix DNA. They were Watson and Craig. Okay. And each strand act like, like a template. What is template? I will tell you. And you all know the DNA is made up of base pair, nitrogen base and phosphate group. And uh, okay, let's start. So this is a starting first in the first step of the DNA replication the here you can see the two it is a DNA okay so this DNA has a two strand it is A T G C C G T A these are this is one strand this is another strand these two uh, stand composed and make a DNA double helix structure okay so in the first step of DNA replication first these two double stranded DNA becomes they open up or unwind their cell so they will form these two different strands and this uh, this is the first step and it is known as DNA unbinding and then it is the origin of replication origin of replication actually the replication procedure it is of it consists of three stages first is initiation then elongation and finally it terminates so in the first step initiation of DNA replication the DNA replicate uh, in this step the DNA um, unwinds as I told you the DNA unbinds and there is a point on the some enzymes there are some enzymes which will I will tell you uh, some enzymes first they find out the point of origin point of origin is the that point from where the replication should start yeah, it's like uh, they there's a specific point in the DNA where where from where the replication will start. So that is uh, this point is known as point of origin or origin of replication. So after starting of this, first it will unwind, then it will identify the uh, the enzymes will identify the origin of replication, and then this the replication fog will form. Now how the actual replication takes place? So first thing is this is double helix strand that is this red one and this is green one this is original parental double helix strand it contains base pair complementary base pair as you can see in this figure okay and this is uh, uh, 5 prime to 3 prime and this is five, uh, 3 prime to 5 prime in the case of this strand is 5 prime to 3 prime there is a continuous green strand it is the new strand which is which is formed which is complemented to the old strand and here you can see in the strand 3 strand to 3 prime to 5 prime there is a discon uh, discontinuous 3 strands okay so what they represent actually <coughs> on this strand it is 5 prime to 3 prime continuous strand is formed and on this other strand it is known as uh, discontinuous strand is formed the continuous strand is known as le uh, leading strand and uh, this continuous strand is formed as lagging strand. 
and these small fragments these small fragments are are also known as okazaki fragments and uh, these okazaki fragments are then uh, they are ligated by using a enzyme which is known as dna ligase okay so here are the some helpers which which are necessary which uh, for the, uh, the for the process of dna replication so the first is helicase what it does i told you dna is double helix structure okay so it uh, this is the dna strand okay so this dna strand is become unwinded it becomes unwind and then the the unwinding work is done by with the help of dna replicase and then the dna polymerase after unwinding new nucleotides will be added like a t g c complementary nitrogen base pairs must be added so those adding of those uh, nitrogen base is done by the dna polymerase and after the after making of those strands uh, in case of discontinuous strands like in leaking strands these uh, small fragments are ligated or joined by dna ligase okay so it is also known as stick or glue because it uh, joins two strands uh, two or three the fragments discontinuous fragments and here is a application overview first in first step this is a dna double helical strand dna it it unwinds with the help of helicase don't forget the, the name of enzymes it they are very important so double helical strand dna they will unwind okay and after unwinding new strand will synthesize so these new strand will synthesize with the help of dna polymerase and on one strand dna uh, will be discontinuous and on other strand dna will be continuous so on dna uh, on discontinuous strand okazaki fragments are formed and these fragments are joined by with the help of dna ligase and so how this is how the dna replication takes place and their efficiency is very important in case of e coli 4.6 into 10 to the power 6 base pairs are present in case of human beings 6.6 into 10 to the power 9 base pairs are present so in case of e coli these base pair replicates in about 38 minutes okay means uh, so you can think about 2000 base pair per second replicates and this is very high you know and in case of human beings there is also the affinity is also high and here uh, we will end about dna replication i hope you guys will understand the topic very well so next is the experimental proof that how the dna is replicate as you can see in the uh, these slides that uh, the if the uh, in the case of dna replication these old strand it is the blue one strand is the old parental strand and these pink uh, pink strands are the new uh, new strand okay so when dna replicates in their two strands are formed new dna okay so these new in these new two strands there is one old parental strand it is the blue one is reserved and the this is known as the semi conservative nature that is semi means half conservative uh, means that will remain conserved so in these strands the semi conservative nature these uh, the one parental strand will remain conserved okay so this is how it goes and this is the semi conservative replication and this uh, technique or this thing was uh, told by Meselson and Star, or they discovered this thing, and they demonstrated that DNA replication in semi-conservative nature. For proof, for by proof for proving these things, they used the isotopes of nitrogen. Why they used nitrogen? Because in DNA, DNA is made up of nitrogen bases, and which contains nitrogen only. So, so to label the nitrogen, they use isotope that is N14 and N15 radioactively labeled. and the principle of this uh, experiment was that the heavy nitrogen base that would be n15 would be differentiated from the light nitrogen base obviously the heavy will remain uh, at down and the light will remain in supernatant it will float okay so this is semi conservative nature
दिस इज द डी एन ए ओके इट विल अनवाइंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ डी एन ए हेलीकेज एंड न्यू स्ट्रेंड विल फॉर्म विद द हेल्प ऑफ डी एन ए पॉलीमरेज एज यू कैन सी इन इन दीज टू न्यू स्ट्रैंड वन इज ओल्ड स्टैंड एंड वन इज न्यू स्टैंड द रेड वन इज अ न्यू स्टैंड एंड दैट ब्लू वन इज द ओल्ड स्टैंड एंड द न्यू फॉर्म स्टैंड इज नोन एज डॉटर डॉटर स्टैंड ओके सो दिस इज द सेमी कंजर्वेटिव नेचर दैट पेरेंटल स्टैंड और वन स्टैंड इज ऑलवेज कंजर्व दिस एंड न्यू स्टैंड विल फॉर्म ऑन दिस सो दिस इज अ सेमी कंजर्वेटिव नेचर एंड ही Proved this by using an experiment in which they label the DNA nitrogen. It is with n fifteen, n and fourteen. What they do uh, is uh, first they grow some, uh, some DNA that uh, with in n fifteen. Okay, so that all generations will be uh, will be having n fifteen nitrogen based DNA, and some normal that is E coli with having n fourteen. Okay. so what they did after they after growing and 14 and 15 they mix them and they make a hybrid okay so the hybrid uh, uh, and make them uh, and they mix them and they make a hybrid and these two hybrids replicates and they form a pattern with this pattern is uh, is a shown like first thing you see in the case when uh, e coli replicates it contains 100% and 15 so this is density 100% and 15 in next case as you can see uh, it is uh, 100% then when the first generation is arrived some and 14 also also incorporated in summer and 15 and then after next generation and 14 and 15 and 14 and 15 so this is how the replication takes place and one strand is always conserved that is and other and 14 and 15 but uh, as we grow the last step is and 14 so at the end and 14 content is higher than the and 15 content so this is how it goes one strand is always conserved while replication this is shown in this by using the density first in first case and 15 and then after making hybrid that is after replication and 15 content become lesser and 14 contains become higher because one strand is conserved okay and this is the last thing this is a central dogma that is first thing is of a uh, that is uh, in our body dna first replicates itself and then after replication it forms rna that is messenger rna and then it forms the uh, this mrna forms protein okay and the this process is known as dna to mrna is known as transcription and from rna to protein is known as translation this is very important steps uh, in the form of gene expression we will discuss about these things in next video i hope uh, uh, dna replication will be clear to you if you have any query then please message me or comment in the comment section and thank you for watching my video i hope you you like this video thank you